Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Straw poll winner Herman Cain is placing a lot of credence in Saturday's piercing vote against Rick Perry and Mitt Romney. The second and third place finishers are already saying the vote doesn't mean much. FSU eminent scholar Carol Weissert agrees. Straw polls don't tell you anything except what the preferences are of the people who are there. In this case, it was the people, activists in the Republican Party, but it in no way is going to predict the primary or certainly not the general election. Saturday's vote clearly threw a likely curve in the prediction that the winner would be the party's eventual nominee. Even Democrats don't think Kane has the juice to win. Herman Kane is not going to win a primary. He's not going to be the nominee. He's not going to win a state. So how did Herman Kane win? Hard work. A number of Republican insiders believe it came down to retail politics. Herman Cain gave a great speech, then stayed and worked the room while all the other big players left. The messages sent by the GOP party faithful were many. Sally Bradshaw was a delegate but didn't vote. They're uncertain about Governor Romney because of his uh, perceived uh, issues, uh, his perceived position on some issues as a flip-flopper, and they weren't ready to embrace Governor Perry given his debate performance. It really opened things up. Prior to Saturday, the last three Florida straw poll winners did go on to win the party's nomination. And if that happens this time, it would be the biggest political surprise of the decade. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalindo reporting.